home back from Lama. So just filling up the Manatee this morning. Really cold last night. I think it was minus four the other night. I was walking on the lake. Uh, yeah, it's been really, really cold. Just wait, waiting for the tally handler to fill up before we start feeding. I had a, I had a, a really good time at Lama. Enjoyed meeting so many of you. And it was just a really, really good experience all around. And um, since coming home, actually, I had a great chat with Dad this morning about, um, you know, all the kit there at Lama. And I was saying, you know, doesn't seem to be much of a, of a recession in farming. There was so much kit there. There was like the, the huge case quad track, a golden fence. And it sort of got me thinking, you know, that people talk about a recession in farming, but, you know, there's, there's some really nice kit there. And there was a lot of kit sold that I know of, speaking to people. And, um, you know, most of the people going to Lama buying that serious kit aren't making money out of farming. It's, it's out of other things. And then they go to Lama to, uh, to usually to offset things for tax. Like people like James Dyson, people like, uh, you know, Jerry, Jeremy Clarkson. Um, you know, he's done a great thing for British farmers, Clarkson, but he's from an outside world. And that's what you need to do, really. Sometimes it needs to be spoken about on farming because you need to make a living, try and make it out of other things. And then you can go there, you can go to places like Llama and you can invest in some nice kit. And unfortunately, it's just the way it's going now with farming. You're not gonna make much money out of the cereals. Uh, the beef game in Norfolk is really hard at the moment because we're locked down with blue tongue. Then there's the rising costs. And actually, having watched a really good video of Harry Metcalf yesterday in the Cotswolds, um, He's cutting down an arable, just like us, and he's going to be paid to farm the environment more. You know, just exactly the same as here. It's the same old thing. You know, so if, if you want to, if you want to be a good farmer now in this country, this is what you need to invest in. This is what you need to buy. It's one of these. This is what you need to invest in: a flail mower, and get yourself a hedge cutter as well, because these will maintain paddocks and pastures which they'll pay you to grow that they're already doing it now it's called the sfi the sustainable farming incentive and this is what you need to invest in to secure your farm for the future all right well it's uh it's a lot later in the day now and i've come down to see see this person see this character so here he is what have you been up to trev oh this night we're just talking about tractors weren't we mm -hmm. um so i went to um Llama the other day. Where? Llama. Well, I, don't know, I don't know where that is. Do you know the Llama show? No. No bin. <laughs> well, I went there. Well, the llamas have got four legs, haven't they? Not trapped. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went, I went there anyway. And you'll never guess who I met down there. Um, George Saunders. Um, do you know George Saunders? No. no. Okay, well, I met George Saunders anyway. And he set me a challenge to buy a Ford. Right. I'll keep it I want to see one on the channel. There you go. Try and do it for next End of the year, I want to see a blue on the channel. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> All right. All right. We'll try, we'll try Make sure that. he does it, you lot. Ford Tractor, by right. the end of the year. Right. And he was telling me all about Fords. Yeah. So could you recommend any good Fords or do you know anything about Ford Tractors? Well, we got, what size Ford do you want? 3,000? Well, George... 3,000? 3,000? 5,000? George said to me about a TW25, TW35, which is a monstrosity of a thing. Yeah, great four-wheel drive. Massive, I knew you'd say that. Yeah, <laughs> I knew you'd say that. 200 horsepower, that's a massive thing. Yeah, but... I'll see one and get stuck with a plow on it. Oh, have you? <laughs> well, I was thinking maybe something small just for small jobs. You've got a 7,000 then? Just for the wrapper. Little jobs. You could go on the bale wrapper. Yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, you know, a four thousand will have a you have to change the hydraulics on it. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking of doing. So well, you'd probably have to change the ones in the seven thousand one as well because they weren't built within days for them. Sort of thing. What about a more modern Ford then, like a seven six ten seven? Probably seven, you might get away with it then. Six six ten. Yeah, something like that. You might get away with it. Then. Yeah. Um. So that's what we'll do. And oh, you want to see the kit at Llama? You should have seen it. Good you should have seen the kit at Llama. Llama. I've got to take you to this llama show. You, you, Trev, you've been living under a rock in Norfolk here, you have. Um, you'd, have you'd have loved the kit there, but uh, you need a mortgage for it. Some oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. some of it was literally about half a million pounds kit, yeah, so yeah. a million pound kit. Yeah. And I did think it is getting a bit out of hand now. It's getting a bit silly. Yeah, yeah. Um, they had a quad track there. Guess how much the horsepower was. Oh, fucking way. 300 horsepower. No, you, you guess, Trev. You guess. Keep going. More than that. Over a thousand then. No, not too far, but 780 horsepower on boost quad track. Right. Who's going to need 780 horsepower? You mean? 
You're in. Who's going to need that sort of horsepower? You're in. Someone will do it. Someone will do it. Well, the only place I'll have that is the... Down the road? Yeah. Uh, the big estate. Oh, right, big estate. What's that big John Deere they got? How big is that? Oh, 8RX. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, 410 horsepower, I think. And, and then it has a boost. Yeah? But yeah. So yeah, you, so yeah, they'll get that, something like that. Yeah. 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 Mm, what's that have? A drill and a big set of discs? Yeah, drill and a big set of discs, yeah. Yeah, and like a like a tillage train thing. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it is getting silly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, anyway, so he sent me this challenge, anyway, to buy this Ford. Yeah. So we'll try and buy a Ford. Oh, okay. And then, guess who else I met? I met uh, an American. <laughs> yeah, no, I met an American, one lonely farmer. We had a really good time. All right. And he was telling me all about Crone. You know Crone? A crone, literally, you, you can break something, whether it's a knot or a needle, you can disengage it and keep going. You know that mower we bought, the yes, cr the yeah, crone mower. He's yeah. telling me how they he's got these balers and stuff in America, and they're like indestructible and they're like marvelous. They're yeah. just uh, German or something. Yeah. And he he's he's telling me about crane. So I went to have a look at the crone stand. You want to see the size of some of that kit? <laughs> they they had a rake there, which was literally like four rotors. Yeah. They do our field in about ten minutes. Yeah. And um, oh wow, I just had an absolute laugh and. Just unbelievable the size of the kit. It's just getting silly. Mm -hmm. Just getting silly. You made the size of the head you got over it. I know. Well, I'm, I'm. I just think everything's getting so silly now. Why don't we just have small kit? Mm -hmm. Everything's small. Everything reasonable. I told you this before, Wayne. Yeah, you have told me this many times. <laughs> well, you will listen to you. <laughs> no. Well, I've learnt the lesson now. Yeah. And then next month, at the end of the month, we're going to do muck spreading, and we'll use. We've got. I got one coming on demo. A, a, an articulated telehander, like a bendy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you reckon to that? Oh, right. I don't mind them at all. Well, there we go. Then I'll have a go with that. And I've got a hedge guard coming back, the Shelbourne, which I went and had a look at the Shelbourne stand. So I'll be out with that next week. And then I know you asked me about carving. Ne end of the month, we'll be carving. He got that cart. That's it. I asked you again. What's that? A pulling table. Oh no! Trev asked me to buy a different carving aid this year, but I haven't bought that. No, I. I've just got the normal... Why well, you just go down the bootyard and get one? Do they got one, a second-hand one? Oh, well, I'll go and find them and see if they've got a second-hand one. I'll go and get one. Um... Don't buy them, dude. Just go and get a second-hand one. <laughs> uh, see, this is some good advice. We need to buy more second-hand kit, don't we? Because yeah. everything's getting so expensive. Tell me you get one tractor when you well, ask you to. Yeah, oh, yes. I tell you, I was up at Cambridge the other day, <laughs> I, and I went to the auction. Oh, you should have seen the tractors, Trev. They had literally miles and miles of tractors. Yeah. Cambridge Auction. Yeah. You'd have loved it up there. I'll take you up there at some point. They did have one for you, a nice little one. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'll try and I'll try and get you one from What's there. That? What was that, about 150 horsepower? That's about 110 horsepower. Oh, well, I look bigger now. Let's <laughs> slightly look bigger. You want about 130? Yes. Uh, right, right. Well, next month there'll be the February auction and we'll go. The, I'll go to that one. Yeah. And we'll try and find 6, 9, 10. Yeah. So, there we go. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, we've got this Ford challenge. Yeah, you want to get rid of that coal layer? Yes, trade it in for something else. Get us that, that this multi, multi thing. Oh, Sumo Trio. Yeah, <laughs> Trev wants to buy a Sumo Trio. But people think we won't be able to pull anything with a Sumo Trio. Because you need a lot of horsepower to pull a train no, like that. No, they don't. Oh, all right, well, okay. <laughs> well, I'll have a look at a Sumo Trio at some point. So do you want a sport one? I like your tractor plates. It's here, by the way. Yeah. What is that? David Brown? David Brown Fords. Fords, yeah, Fords and Standards, yeah, Fords and Standards, Old Fords. Fords. Oh, Fords, see, we've got a Ford man. <laughs> You'll have to meet, George. You and you and Saunders would like... I used to drive Fords. Oh, well, yeah, oh, now here it all comes out in the wash. <laughs> I thought we had it, I thought we had it, um... Hello, Lucky. Colt the Colt was Fords. Oh, and one right. on David Brown. Oh. What was a was wait, no good. What was the best Ford, then? Best Ford tractor? <clears throat> I only had a 4,000. So maybe I should get a 4,000 then? Yeah, but they ain't going to do your hydraulics. They, they uh, got the plug-ins. For the baler? For the bale wrapper? Yeah, they got they? the plug-in things. Oh, the three pins. <laughs> yeah, well, we that's, can... where we had the, that's where we had that big TW... Oh, with right, a four right, right. plow on, and oh, they got stuck right. in the middle of the field. Oh, at Caldecott, I know. That's down the marshes at the Broads. Yeah, no, um, look, at I'm, the side. I'm, I'm, where the, where, the, where the horses are. Oh, Red Wings Animal Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah that's, I know. that's cold, cold, cold. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, so... They need to get a winch to pull it across the field to get it out. <laughs> so we'll try and get a Ford then. We'll try and get a Ford. 4,000 or something yeah. like that. Or something a bit more modern, you said, you reckon. What's it going to do? Just the bale just, wrapping? Just go on the bale wrapping and tedding. You can put it on the rake. Little jobs. Yeah, what, what, what could you do with a little one then? Well, that'll, that'll be carting the bales back. 
yeah. You got yeah. loads of jobs for that. Oh, okay. Have you got a light sorted on that? Water, water yet? No, I haven't sorted out the indica- <laughs> I haven't sorted out the indicators on the water bowser yet. No. So you, Trevor's getting on to me now. <laughs> I've got to take you down to Lama. You'd love it down there. But we'll go to the Doe Show. I think you'd like the Doe Show. I thought I'd been gone. No, the Doe Show's next month. Oh. Well, end of the week. When is it? End of the month. Yeah, I think it's end of the month. Oh. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So that's what that's what <coughs> Trevor and I are up to. I've got to get back to the farm in a minute. And tr- Trevor. And I will sort out a Ford tractor. Trevor's looking at his Ford pictures over there from back in the good old days. But you're all alive and well, because people have been worried about where you are and what you've been up to. Oh, I've been, I've been 360 driving, mucking out, what little things and all sorts. You've, you've been up to all sorts, haven't yeah. you? You've yeah, been flat out. Yeah, I've been on my little dump truck, got the straw back. That's a good little thing, eh? You've only got one, you know, you do like this, and... Uh, that's how you draw it, how you stare it. Oh, you live in the dream. Yeah, and when you go straight, you just leave, leave them where it is, and that just... Away you go. Away you go, and you go down there like... <laughs> <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right, well, we're now back at the farm, and uh, I went to see Trev this afternoon after we'd done all the cows, and uh, I've got to get a, go and get the hedge cutter in the next couple of days, so that'll be back from Llama, just parking up in the shed, and then it's going on the 6, 9.30. Hopefully, tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, so that'll be uh, Shelbourne. We've got the Ford Challenge as well with George, so Trevor and I have got some ideas for the Ford um, of what we're going to do, and then I'll be hedge cutting for the rest of the week. Catch you on the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel, and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.